Good morning, my name is Pastor Jeremy Shines and this is I Am Loved Church. Letters to the church. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this word that you're gonna give and I pray you would speak to our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Letters to the Church is a quick Bible study, sermon, conversation, whatever the Lord wants it to be. Let's begin. We left off on Matthew chapter 5, verse 25, and there we stop. Agree with an adversary quickly while you are in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver you to the judge, and the judge deliver you to the officer, and you be cast into prison. So right there, it basically means don't be argumentative with really anybody, right? Anybody, especially your brothers and sisters in Christ, because all it takes is them complaining about you to the Lord or anyone really, I think, complaining to you to the Lord and the Lord is going to receive this and he's going to send judgment down on you. So a lot of times when we feel shame and condemnation is because we've sinned against somebody right and it's it goes so far as even um i don't know maybe this is true maybe it's not if they misunderstand it i don't know i don't think that's true but but if they complain and the lord finds it just like anyone could complain about you right and it may not be like true like let's say someone complains about you Oh, this person did this and that at all, right? Or you complain about a person, right? And God receives this judgment and he looks at it and he's like, is this just in my eyes? God says, and if it is, he's like, okay, I can see, I can see how that person feels and all this stuff. If it's just in my eyes, I'm going to judge it. If it's not, I'm not going to judge it. And I'm not going to judge that person or judge you depending on who's complaining of on who, right? But if there is some issues in there and there is some judgment to be given, it may be given. If there isn't, it may not. There may be more, may be less, may be none. And so ultimately what it's saying is God is the judge. God is the judge, all right? So many people have complaints about whoever, right? But in the end, God is the ultimate judge. He's going to judge us. Uh, and he's going to bring all the cases before himself. And he's going to make the perfect judgment. Human beings don't do that, right? We try, but even our best attempts are bad. A lot of people wrongly convicted in prison and jail for something they didn't even do or something that wasn't that severe. Right? I heard of a charge of a guy that he finally got released for having marijuana and now it's legal. Crazy, right? That's another issue. So uh, if if God accepts that or not. Okay, verse 26. Verily I say unto you, you shall by no means come out thence till you have paid the other most farthing. Until you have paid the debt. Really, right? None of us have paid a debt. All of us fall short of the glory of God. All of us sin against each other and people sin against us. So basically, mercy. Everyone needs mercy. So regardless of what these people did to you, we have to remember, because he's probably going to get into this later, is you got to forgive them because they don't know what they do, right? And whether they think they know what they do, they don't know what they do. And if you have something against your brother, you better make sure you can reconcile that. If you can't, ask that you, the Lord for forgiveness or um, ask the Lord uh, for to help you in that. Because nobody's perfect and nobody's Per, right really because in order to be right you got to be perfect <laughs> and so we strive for that but we don't we don't we always miss the mark and so we have to uh forgive those who sin against us or repent to them if if they receive if they don't then repent to the lord and say i uh, god i did everything i could on my part it's up to you know it's up to you now you handle that all right verse 27 you have heard that it was said by them of old you shall not commit adultery 28 but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman with lust after her commits adultery with her already in his heart. And so, wow, like he's raising the bar here. The standard is really, really high, right? If you even angry with someone in your heart, you've already murdered them. If you've even 
looked at a person with lust or imagined someone who's not your spouse in lust, you've already committed adultery. We're all guilty of that, right? Every single one of us. So if you actually look at this, the whole point of this is he's getting, he raises the bar so high where we're forced to show mercy to people. No matter what circumstance, no matter what issue. Because there was a lot of people, not just at that time, but today, that we think because we haven't actually killed someone, because we haven't actually slept with someone's spouse or slept outside of marriage, that we think we're good. And, and those people who've done that, oh man, they're, they're condemned to hell, right? But Jesus raises it so, the bar so high where he brings those who've actually done that, like right here, and those who haven't done that, he brings them straight up and says, they're the same. Those sins are the same. If you've done it in your heart, you've already really done it. And so it's just like, wow. So because there's society goes, oh, these people are down here and these people are up here. And he goes, nobody's down here and up here. Everybody is right here deserving of hell and punishment. And so it's just like, it just forces us to show mercy, right? It really does. And so my question to you is, where in your heart do you think you're better than others? Well, at least I haven't done what they did. And, and Jesus is saying, just by you saying that right there, you've already done it. Because you're hating your brother. You're thinking you're better than your brother or your sister. You've already done it. Right? Or you will. There's a, there, this is, I believe, is pretty true. That if God wills that the thing that you hate people for, if God wills, he's going to have it happen to you. He may not always have that happen to you, but he will teach you in another way to humble you, to not look down on anybody, right? And so look at your heart and see any area where you look down on people for it, look at it and go, God will either humble me or he has, or I'm ignoring or whatever, <laughs> or, or I do that. One or the other, right? Sometimes our hearts are so hard where he's just like, if you are not gonna see the, the, the thing that you're judging people for so much, I'm going to eventually have that to you, have that done to you. So whether people know you're judging them or not, God sees your heart all the time, 24 seven, seven days a week. And so I don't know about you, but that the fear of the Lord is the, like, oh man, you're always watching me. <laughs> so I better make sure I'm doing the right thing. Even when people can't see my thoughts or my heart, you can see it. And I, and I don't want to be I don't want to be under your wrath or judgment, Lord. So forgive me and help me forgive those who sin against me. And even I sin against people too, which is just, it all goes back to God. If you did the least of these you've done, you've done to me, Jesus says. Wow. To, you treated anyone this way? You've done it to me. Wow. So Father, I'm going to ask for forgive us of our sins and help us forgive those who sin against us. Amen. Thank you for listening to Letters to the Church. God bless.